Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Now as you know, San Diego Comic Con is once again upon us and the good folks over at Mattel have sent their exclusive products that they're launching at the event. Now, big special thanks to the good folks from Mattel for sending us over these free products for us to review in which today we'll be unboxing them, trying them out, and seeing exactly what they're all about. So if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so up next we have our Knight Rider regarding the 40th anniversary in a Hot Wheels form. Uh, and this year's packaging actually is quite small compared to some of the other ones that we're looking at today. However, it looks pretty darn cool. It says 40 years on the side, it says Knight Rider, and then on the top it just says Hot Wheels. Again, almost like an embossed kind of feel. Now uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide that out like this. And <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. You guys see the whole Knight Rider vehicle right over there uh, with the laser kind of going left and right uh, as we kind of rotate us as Knight Rider Hot Wheels. And I believe this just opens up. Well, there we go. Oh, sweet. So we have our nice looking casing, uh, almost like a plastic case showing Knight Rider, the vehicle right there. It looks really, really cool. Uh, I believe this kind of comes out too. Oh, there we are. Oh, okay, so there is a charger. That's interesting. Let's go and take that out. And it looks like the charger actually goes inside the vehicle. That is pretty wicked. It does come with a USB-C. Let's see if we can open this. All right, so that is actually a standard Hot Wheel car. Even, I mean, the tires are made out of rubber, so that is cool. Uh, you got this nice, like, high gloss black finish. You even got the license plate that says night. Uh, and then on the bottom here, you have your USB-C, and then you have an on off switch, and it looks like a button too. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. There we are, press the button. Oh, sweet, we do have an LED in the front. And it does actually move, what? That is actually cool. So the LED actually goes left and right. <laughs> sweet. So a really cool display piece, uh, especially if you're a Knight Rider fan, I would say definitely something really cool, very interesting. Great nostalgic value for anybody who's into Knight Rider. Uh, it being for, uh, for 40 years definitely brings back a lot of memories. I remember seeing this on TV. And even down to the details in the interior, you can see that they did a great job with it. It's actually got the whole retro interior, especially with all the digital gauges. And yeah, I mean, it's exactly the way it's supposed to look like based off of the show. And I love the fact that it does have its own LED incorporated into it. Uh, unique wheels, you got rubber tires, and overall a really cool looking hot wheel. Definitely a must need for any collector out there. Now with that said, if you had any questions about the Knight Rider exclusive, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Take care now, bye bye.